Today I am going to show you how to play Billink perfectly on Pearl. At the beginning of the round 7, opposing Xset against OptiGaming, we can see that Xset are on a nick round and Fade has a Stinger and no armor, it will be important for later, and OptiGaming is on a full buy. During the first seconds of the round, OptiGaming is going to clear B main with Chaos Knife and Grenade here and here, and Fade's Brawler going there. Thanks to their abilities, Opti Gaming are now sure there is no one in B main and they have even heard Chamber TP away. The thing to notice here is the Viper wall, which is actually the default wall when you are attacking. This wall blocks the vision of the defenders that are in B hall, making pushing B main way easier. Next, Opti Gaming is going to push B long and Astra who is the dedicated player to push B-Link, will wait for his teammates to engage the fight on B before pushing B-Link. It is important to wait as we will see KU coming here to cover mid-double doors. At this moment, Optic have engaged the fight on B site, and we can see the attention of all the players of Exit is directed toward B site. It makes the way open for Astra to push B Link and take some kills, but Fade is going to arrive at the exact same time as Astra. Astra just killed two people in B-Link and managed to escape with only 15 HP because Fade had no armor and a stinger. Keio doesn't feel safe anymore in B-Link as he knows Astra can pick at any moment. He is then going to chase her down but Astra is gonna respect this and she will retreat. In the end with this strategy one attacker managed to either kill or drive away the attention of three defenders from beside. Next, the four members of Optic Gaming still on site will manage to win the 4v2, and Astra will take the last kill against Kayo right here. Right from just making sure the late lows get incredible value. Love the way that Optic are playing this as well. It's so cautious in their approach. They laid down the Viper's Pit, but nobody was playing inside of it because they're so aware. To conclude, you must wait for your teammates to engage the fight on B site before pushing B link. It is still a dangerous strategy as you will most likely face multiple opponents at the same time. This is why the strat works the best when the defenders are in echo. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for your daily dose of Valorant analysis.